96.9 FM, W-A-Z-Z. Yeah, you gotta watch it on some of those songs. They sneak up on you like that. You gotta be quick about that timing. And a good old radio professional like me, who is experienced, knows when them songs are gonna end quick. <laughs> Rocket Willow Springs in the Deep Valley, and wherever you are, maybe you're down there at the Bottoms Up Tavern in Willow Springs down there on the uh, west side of town, just behind the uh, high school there in the little alleyway. It's a hidden secret in Willow Springs. Visitors, you might want to head on down there. There you might find Seasick Steve and Scary Sherry. Now, this is to be warned here. Steve said that he met a girl named Sherry down there. And I asked him, I said, how did you become C6 Steve? And was she that bad that you call her Scary Sherry? He said, no. <laughs> he said, uh, my name is Steve and her name was Sherry. But the names came about because uh, she sat down beside of him. And after a couple of glances at each other, he offered to buy her a drink. As the conversation got going, one glass turned into two. She made the comment that she liked a margarita. And from there, she said she liked a Hawaiian daiquiri. She was pointing things out on the menu that looked good. So Steve decided to be a little gentleman and keep on ordering drinks. And that turned into a dry martini. Then she ordered a whiskey sour. Then she said she'd really like to try a penicillin. After mentioning it a few times, he bought her one of those. Followed by Manhattan. She topped it off with a Bloody Mary just before exiting to the bathroom. And Sherry knows her drinks. <laughs> I asked Steve what he had. He said he had a dark and stormy. Man, y'all throwing things down. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> I'm going to have to try these out next time I'm down there. Well, when Sherry went to the ladies' room, apparently the bartender informed Steve that she is a regular there at the bar, and she is a woman who acts interested in men when they offer to buy her a drink, so she keeps going. And this apparently is Sherry's strategy in order to get around of free drinks. Apparently, the bartender has caught on to this. However, things went south when Sherry returned to the bar stool. She suspected that things were not quite as she left them and that Steve no longer seemed interested in her. So after a small confrontation between Steve and Sherry, things went south. And that at which time Sherry bought her own long neck. She popped the top on it, stuck a finger in it, shook it up, and then pointed it at Steve making all kinds of threats. <laughs> I told him the only thing she had to do was pull her finger out. <laughs> and that is how Steve became seasick. And that's what he said it felt like. And Sherry became awful scary. <laughs> With that bottle in her hand. <laughs> oh, man, I've heard of things going down at the bar, but, yeah, man, I'll tell you what, it ain't even midnight. <laughs> So y'all look out for Sherry, any girl down there. Let's get back to rocking those martinis and cocktails. 96.9 FM, W-A-Z-Z. This is for you, Steve.